Today, I'm not in my shop. Stay tuned. <laughs>
Yeah, you just round it down to your diameter that you want. And here I'm starting to shape the top of it for the tin and it goes into the mallet head. I think I need to get Kat to record more often for me because I'm having to do actually very little editing with this. I'm noticing she did a really good job and I'm happy. Okay, so I'm not sure what happened to the footage of uh, shaping the bottom, but um, I know we had it. But anyway, at this point, we start shaping the bottom of the sanding the bottom of the handle and getting it ready to take off the lathe. And at this point, Maya is showing how much more experienced at this than she she is than I am because she can still see tool marks when I can't. <laughs> so yeah, it takes a little bit of experience, I guess. So once we had it sanded down to 1500 grit, um, put some wax on it just to help protect it and fill in any of the scratches from the sandpaper or any tool marks we might have forgotten to take off. And then we just buff it out with a couple of rags.
too bad for my first time. Okay, so now it's time to take it off the lathe. And as soon as I got it off, I turned around and I showed James. And that's when he looked at me and he said, that one's yours. Now come put it in the head. It completely floored me. I was completely unexpecting it. And so I just want to say thank you so much, James. This was a great experience. So here, James is helping me get the drill press set up because it's his drill press. So... He knows how it all works better than I do. And uh, we're gonna drill the hole in it to put the tenon in from the handle. So I chose a Babinga head for my mallet and I already have one that's Lingnum Vitae and Purple Heart handle. And I have another one that is Purple Heart head and Cocobolo uh, handle. So this is what I chose was Red Heart handle and being ahead. So this is hard to hold, but uh, if you can hold that, you can drill it. If you can't, I can get a snatch. Thank you. So, just drill a little bit, and then, you know, that's all you need. You want a lot of material in a really hard way. You got a glass on? Which glass is it? So we're using a 7 8 inch bit here because I cut the tenon a little too small on the lathe and normally it's a one inch handle or one inch tenon but this one's a seven eighths so we're drilling it and cat took cat recorded the whole drilling process so i'm going to cut it up a little bit just to save some time and keep you from getting bored So James and I decided just to, well, I grabbed one side, he grabbed the other, and we could hold it in place, which it worked out great uh, instead of setting up the clamps. Like I said, it takes about 10, 20 minutes to set the clamps up. And as you can see here, it started to burn the babinga. Um, you just have to go so slow and it just burns from time to time is what James said. And now we're nearing the end, coming through the other side of the head. I mean, it didn't take very long. I mean, it only took a little over three minutes to drill the whole thing, but that was going slow. And then, of course, once we finished that, we had to take the handle over to the bandsaw and cut off the parts that connected to the lathe and get it ready to be inserted into the head. All right, so take this in now. We're going to cut about a quarter inch off this side. It doesn't have to be square. <laughs> because it'll square it over there. Does the hole still there? Yeah. Cut it again. Okay. Now for those of you that don't know, James is an organic chemist and he taught organic chemistry um, at the university level for many, many years. So he is a teacher at heart, always has been, always will be. And whenever you come into his shop, um, he will teach you how to how to do everything. I mean, he, that's just who he is. He's a great guy, and he's an excellent teacher. And he his daughters have obviously picked up that skill from him. That's a skill that I wish I had a, a better handle on. Um, I can teach a little bit, but I'm I'm not a teacher like he is. He's fantastic. So I'm just sanding down the end of the handle and then I'm going to flip it over and sand down the tenon to get it to fit into the hole that we drilled in the head and then we'll put everything together.
That's it. Just go one inch down and spin. There you go. That's it. Now see if you can put it in a couple inches. And now it's time to put everything together. So you're in James King's shop. You use plenty of glue. <laughs> uh, if you don't get that joke, you really need to watch James's channel and some of his videos. But you, you, yeah, you use plenty of glue. And you just put the glue on the inside of the head, put it on the tenon for on the handle, and drive it in. And then you put glue on the little wedge that you put in, and drive the wedge in and let it sit for about 30-45 minutes. Probably not using as much glue as you, but... Are they all about the same size? They're pretty chicken. Are they just one? Yeah, that's right. Me. <laughs> Are you getting nervous? Are you nervous? No. Yeah, okay. Doing the YouTube channel has helped with that. Yes. Oh, you're messing up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mr. King. There's a hammer there next to you. Right in front of you. All the heads are slamming down a little So this one here. So just make sure it's tight. Oh. Okay. Like that. And then just drive this. Yeah. And while we're waiting, it's time to eat. Once we're finished eating, the glue is dry and I can start sanding the top of it flush. And I was going to finish the whole thing up before I put this video and put lacquer on it and all that. But I haven't gotten to that yet and I wanted to get the video out there. So, yeah, uh, I just sanded the top flush and then I brought the mallet home and I'm going to finish it up at some point and I'll get a short video of that put up and get some pictures put up. I promised James I'd post a lot of pictures of it once it's finished. So, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. <laughs> Again, this was a great experience, and we all had a lot of fun, and we're going to do it again sometime. Okay, so, yeah, um, I built my own mallet. That was pretty cool, actually. <laughs> I, did, I was not expecting that. I, we came up just to have dinner, and I was actually going to help James build some of the 200,000 mallets that he has or something like that that he sold. But, uh... 
yeah, Maya's taught me how to turn the handle, and I turned around, and James said, that's yours, now come put it in the head. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to finish this up at my shop, and that'll be before this part of the video, obviously, because, you know, it doesn't make sense to have an unfinished piece. But, uh, yeah, so I was going to do the wine rack build this week, but I'm running a little bit behind on it, so we're going to do this instead. And... Yeah, I'll talk to you guys next time. So until then, happy creating.